Did you know that many of your favorite high carb foods like white rice and potatoes can actually boost your metabolic rate, increase your fat burning hormones, build muscle, and help you lose more stubborn fat? My name is Sean Hatzel, I'm the co-founder of Beyond 40, and inside this video I'm gonna share three simple steps that you can use to eat lots of carbs, to never store them as fat, all while taking total control of your blood sugar and your insulin levels. So if you're over 40 years old, pay close attention because on a daily basis, if you don't have control of blood sugar and insulin, your body cannot access stored fat cells as a fuel source. But if you use the three steps I'm about ready to share with you inside this video, every single day, you can keep your body in fat burning mode by keeping blood sugar and insulin stable so that your body can easily access these stored fat cells as a fuel source. Now, at the end of this video, if you click through, I also put together an article on my website that I wanna share with you. It's gonna give you seven 60-second hacks you can use to control blood sugar and insulin. So if you start using these today, you can keep your body in fat-burning mode. But first, let's cover these three simple steps. The first step is to time your carb intake properly. The second step is to combine your carbs with other foods properly. And the third step, is to monitor your portion control and prepare them properly. So let's talk about step number one. When should you eat your favorite high carb foods? Well, there's three best times to eat them. Before and after workouts, and at dinner time, about three or four nights per week. So if you eat carbs before a workout, they are used as an energy source during the workout. That way they never spill over and get stored as fat. If you eat carbs after a workout, your muscle and your liver tissue has been depleted of energy called glycogen. So they're kind of like a sponge that's been wrung dry and wants to suck up nutrients. So any of the carbs you eat in the post-workout window are gonna be partitioned or stored in muscle and liver tissue. Now, why in the world would you wanna eat carbs at dinner time? I mean, we've been told for over a decade now to never eat carbs after four or 5 p.m. because that's when your metabolism is slowing down and you're gonna store them fat. This is a myth. It's simply not true. The research bears this out now over the years. And research shows that late night carb eaters sleep better, recover faster, and lose more fat than early day carb eaters. Now, none of this will work properly if you don't know how to combine your carbs the right way and monitor your portion sizes properly. So it's really super important that every time you eat a starchy carbohydrate or a ripe fruit, that you try to get some type of protein with it. Um, and residual fat in that protein is also a good choice. So some type of animal protein, like a chicken thigh, even chicken breast has a little bit of fat. By combining the protein and the carb together with a little bit of residual fat, now you're blunting the insulin spike to help keep your body in a fat burning environment. But if you eat that carb all by itself, it's going to skyrocket insulin. And that's what takes your body out of a fat burning environment. Now, the next key is to make sure you're monitoring your portion sizes properly. So make sure you use a fist size portion. So that would be like a ripe apple or a, maybe a half a cup if you're a female or a cup of rice if you're a male. So a fist size portion of carb with a palm size portion of protein that should have some residual fat in it. And that will allow your body to keep insulin stable to keep the body in a fat burning environment. So you gotta time them, combine them the right way and monitor your portion sizes properly. Now. Just before I go, I want to tell you, I'm not talking about deep fried potato, you know, potatoes like French fries. I'm not talking about processed carbohydrates. I'm talking about pure glucose based starches like white rice and potatoes. The glucose from these starches are the building blocks of thyroid and leptin hormones. So this is what's going to prevent that hormonal decline that happens when people cut carbs from their diet. Now, if you click through, you're going to go over to my website. I'm going to give you those 70, 60 second hacks that you can use to take total control of blood sugar. These are some cool little tricks. The first one I'll just share with you real quick. It's basically when you go to eat your carbs, eat your protein first. Research shows that if you just take about four or five bites of protein first, swallow that protein first before you touch the carbohydrates, that it's going to help further stabilize blood sugar. So this is just a snapshot of the seven hacks that I share with you over at this article. If you're still watching this and we're getting close to five minutes in, I want you to know I'm grateful for your time. I know it's our most precious commodity, so I'm always grateful in today's day and age of noise and hyped up fixes. These are real solutions that people over 40 can use to keep your metabolism elevated, to keep your hormones in check, and have some sanity. You, I mean, are you really gonna cut carbs for the rest of your life? It's just not realistic, and honestly, if you're over 40, it's not healthy. So thanks for watching this video. If you got something out of it, share the love, hit the like, drop a comment if you got questions. Thanks for watching, and win every day, and keep going strong.